bulb colour to red. Alright, changing the smart bulb to red. Change smart bulb colour to blue. Alright, changing the smart bulb to blue. Hi there, today we're unboxing a Wi-Fi smart LED bulb. So this particular one is by Time2 and details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. Let's take a quick look around the packaging. So it comes nicely packaged with a picture of the actual bulb. Two options available. You've got the screw connector, which is shown here, or the bayonet fitting. So if I come around the top, E27 is the screw fitting and B22 is the actual bayonet. And this one has the bayonet type fitting. Okay, so coming around this way, control your lighting wherever you are. So remote connectivity available on this. If I come around, some more blurb here, support email and details here, so works with Amazon Alexa, Google Home as well. Connected via Wi-Fi, it says energy saving, obviously because it's LED. Easy setup, smart phone control, works with iOS and Android, and the colors can change, so RGB, supposedly. Okay, and it's a seven watt bulb, 50,000 hours lifespan, and from what I've read previously, it works with Smart Life and the Tuya app. So let's open it up, see what you get. So the actual bulb and a card and nothing more. So must be straightforward. So manual details can be downloaded online on there. It's giving and number of different languages on there. Okay, so the bulb itself, build quality feels good actually. Bit of weight behind this one. And obviously, as I've mentioned, you've got a bayonet fitting on there. Now, very strong plastic on there and thinner plastic obviously where the light comes off but like I say it does have a bit of weight to it let me actually tell you the size of it so from the bottom to the top we've got around 12 12 centimeters and from the top the diameter is about six so it looks the size of a standard bulb and if I come in you've got some brand in there and some details just there so RGBW and seven watt on there. Okay, so let's make a start at setting up this bulb. So very straightforward, I've shown this many a time, so I'll quickly run through it. So I'm gonna use a Smart Life app. They suggested the Tuya app, but it's the same thing in actual effect. So let's go to the Play Store and I'll search for Smart Life and give it a second. And it's that app here. So Smart Life, Smart Living, and it's by Tuya Inc. So, I've already installed this and I'm already using this at the moment. So once it's installed, obviously you've got to register an account, sign in with that account, and then let me open this up. This is the interface you'll be presented with. What you're seeing here, obviously you're seeing the existing items I have in my home. So first thing you want to do is add this one in. So very straightforward. So I've got a fixture here and I can connect the bulb straight onto it. So if I go like that, go like that. And you see, it's not flashing. Let's give it a moment if it does start flashing. Okay, so it needs to be set up to accept a configuration. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it on and off a few times. So that's once, twice, so that's three times. Let's give it a moment. There you go, it's flashing now. So it's ready to accept configuration. So very straightforward. If I now click on the plus icon, we'll just click smart lighting and smart lighting devices. Confirm it's rapidly blinking and it is. We'll just click there. Need to enter in my Wi-Fi password. So let me do that off camera. Okay, so I've entered in my Wi-Fi password. Let me click confirm. And let's give it a moment. Okay, so there you go, it's added in. So if I click done, and new device firmware found, let's cancel that for a moment. And there you go, that's what you initially presented with. Let's go back for a moment, and there you go, there's the bulb. Okay, so now the bulb's set up, let me go through the options you have available. So if I click just here, you can turn it off, turn it back on again, so it's a shortcut to it. If I click down there, you've got some additional shortcut options available. So you've got an on off button here as well. So you can flip between it. You've got modes, so you can go to color or scenes. 
these are different sort of predefined scenes you have by default then you've got a brightness option you can adjust the brightness and then you've got a color temperature not sure why they've put it here obviously you can go into the bulb and do all this anyway it's sufficient just to have a shortcut really on here and if you wanted any more they should just have simpler button down there not a biggie but obviously I don't really see the advantage of it okay now going into the bulb this is what you're presented with if I click on white you can take the brightness up and change the color temperature if I go down you can see it goes to warm to cool okay let's take the brightness down and if I go to the next option which is color and just slowly go through this just to show the representation hopefully you should see it and it does represent the different colors quite well on this so RGBW bulb and back to the red on there so that's quite good and again you've got brightness on there as well okay if I go back from there go to scenes and these are the scenes I previously mentioned this is the predefined sort of colors and that's it okay and let's move on to schedule and you can even set timers on this like the other sort of bulbs I've shown so you just select your time say you when you want it to occur once or actually during these days going back to that you can just say if you want it turning on and off so you can have a timer so every day it comes on say at six o'clock in the morning and then it turns off at seven for example and then you can alternate those days as well if you want but you'd have to define it, it doesn't do like a random thing on there okay going back and going back and that's the options you have available and if I click on the three dots here in the corner you've got device details so you can rename the device if you wanted to you've got the device location check device network these are the third party controls it's compatible with Alexa Google Assistant IFTTT Rocket and if I come across some additional ones here as well okay so if I come down here you can share the device with someone else and then if I go to here you can create a group so you can group multiple bulbs together so you can see the other bulbs I've got device information so that will be IP addresses details and even MAC address details on there uh, then you've got feedback check for firmware upgrade and remove device okay let's go back from there and that's it simple as that to set up and to use if I drop down here turn off my Wi-Fi we can show it in action using it remotely so you can see it's connected to 4G now and I've turned off my wife so now if I press the button here you can turn it off if I press it again it turns on so there you go remote based connectivity and you can remotely connect to the bulb and turn it on and off without actually opening any ports on your router so excellent functionality and like most of these bulbs you know this is what it's capable of doing so no real hassle with okay it. so next I'm going to demonstrate how to set up this smart LED light bulb with both the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa so I've got the home app here so let's go for the Google Home first so if I start it up let's give it a second and we click here in the corner and then go to settings and then assistant and home control and then from there you want to click add and add in the smart life service which is just here I've already got it added in and once you've clicked that it will be asking you for your credentials for your smart life app as soon as you've added that in then you'll see all your smart tech appear so if I scroll down you can see all the different items I've got and if I now come out come out again let's scroll down I should see smart bulb in there so there you go it's just there now this can provide a central way of connecting to all your different smart tech devices even if they're with different providers so obviously this is with smart life but if I had another one with Philips Hue I could have it presented here so you don't have to mess around going to different devices you could control it all from here so for example there you go that turns it off turns it on I can adjust the brightness put it back again and again if I now unmute the Google Home the microphone is back on 
Turn off smart bulb. All right, turning the smart bulb off. Turn on smart bulb. Okay, turning the smart bulb on. Okay, Google. Set smart bulb brightness to 50%. All right, setting the smart bulb brightness to 50%. Set smart bulb color to red. All right, changing the smart bulb to red. Change smart bulb color to blue. All right, changing the smart bulb to blue. Here you go, simple as that to control with your Google Home. Okay, so next, let me show how to set up this smart LED bulb with the Amazon Alexa. So I've got the Amazon Alexa app here. Let me start it up. Let's give it a moment. Okay, so next we want to click on here, go to skills and games, and we want to search for a skill. So if I click there and type in smart life, so there you go, this is a smart life skill. It's already enabled as with, with my Google Home. So I've already added it in. As soon as you add it, if you haven't got it, it'll ask you for your smart life credentials. You enter it in and then you're ready to go. So I'll click on devices and lights. And if we go down, I should see smart bulb. And there you go. Okay, and it even said new device on there. So let's try amending the brightness from this. And again, it provides you a central point. So if you did, for instance, have another device, for instance, the Philips Hue, which I've already mentioned, you can control it via this app as well. So it's good. So you can buy other products and not rely on going to the separate apps each time. Now, if I click here, turns it off, turns it back on again. You can set a color from this as well. It's so obviously from the actual Google Home interface, there wasn't an option to change the color, but obviously with the Amazon Alexa, there seems to be, which is good. Okay, cool white, and let's go warm white on there and go back. Okay, create a routine. So you can do a bit of smart things here and create a routine to turn it on and off. And let's come back, and if I click here, some details regarding it and you can edit the name as well so the same thing in google home as well you can edit the name on that as well so if i go back now so as it's up and running if i unmute the mic now and we can say turn off smart bulb okay turn on smart bulb okay change smart bulb brightness to 100 percent Okay. Change smart bulb brightness to 1%. Okay. Change smart bulb color to red. Okay. Change smart bulb color to green. Okay. There you go. Simple as that to set up and configure with the Amazon Alexa. Okay, so next I've actually fitted the light into one of my light fittings in my property and brightness levels seem quite good from this. So I've closed the blinds in the room and just to show the level, got a little bit of ambient light coming in from the side, but still it's closed off quite a lot. And if I turn it on, there you go. And that's with brightness on maximum and on the cool color. So I think it's sufficient for this medium sized room I've got here. And if I take it down in terms of brightness, that's minimal brightness. Take it back up. And if I go down to the warm side of things, there you go, there's warm white. Let's ramp it up now to the maximum. Okay, if I come down here, click on color. And that's with brightness on full. So from some of the other bulbs I've seen, which are seven watts, this is given quite a good amount of color light from it. So if I flip over, yellow there's red come round here and it's slightly brighter from what I've seen on previous bulbs so quite impressed with that and let's take the brightness down that's the minimal and that's the maximum and again saturation change the saturation of the color on there and you can ramp it up to 100% so there you go. Hope this has helped anyone thinking. Obviously, this is a 60 watt bulb, so keep that in mind.
Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this Wi-Fi smart LED bulb, seven watt bulb with 50,000 hours of lifespan on there. Build quality felt good on this bulb. It didn't feel cheap and nasty in any way. Works with the Tuya app and Smart Life app. So really pleased with that. So it integrates with existing smart tech I have in my house and I don't need to buy a hub, which is the key thing here. So if you wanted a cheap solution, where you could control your light without the extra expenditure, this is for you. So there you go, hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.